Good morning you guys, it's Karen and I'm here to review this, the Multipeptide Lash and Brow Serum from The Ordinary. Um, I forgot to put myself a reminder for when I got to the, the I don't know, six to eight weeks or whatever it was, um, and I looked up yesterday how long I've been using this and it's actually nine weeks. <laughs> um, so I thought I would come and do a review. I took some after pictures to have a look what was happening. And yeah, let me tell you the price and everything else and what, what it says it does. The price is not on here. Where is the price? It must be on here somewhere. Oh, here we go, £12.40. So it's really good for um, a, a serum that claims to help, I think it claims to help grow your brow and lashes. Um, I normally pay about, around about the £20 mark, but I have paid up to like, you know, 70, 80 pound for things like lilac and whatnot. Um, I think I didn't have much hope really in peptide serums, which is what this is, until I used a peptide serum in the last year or so and found that it really worked for me. So, uh, you know, given that, I thought I would give it a go. So this says, oh goodness, these glasses are a little dirty. Give me a second. Hold, please. So this says, this multi-peptide lash and brow serum is a light, non-greasy formula um, designed to support thicker, fuller and healthier looking lashes and brows. Um, so I don't know what it means by support thicker, fuller. It doesn't say that it helps you grow them. But by utilising 11 active ingredients, um, four complexes of peptides, twice daily serum oh okay i didn't use it twice daily oops um works to nourish and protect your lashes and brows whilst enhancing the look of density and overall appearance in as little as four weeks okay so i've been using it for nine weeks so it's had plenty of time to work that should counteract the fact that i wasn't using it twice a day hopefully i was using it once a day and the technology is present in this formula um I was just talking about the particular peptides that it uses um Okay, so basically it is going to make your brows and lashes look thicker, um, but it's not saying it will actually grow them. Directions after cleansing and drying, apply a thin layer along the lash line and eyebrows in the morning and evening. Um, I wouldn't do it in the morning and evening because I'm always going to put makeup on top and it's, you know, um, it, it's quite a... It's not, I don't know if you, you're not gonna be able to see it from there, but it's it's a little sort of watery serum product. And I feel like I would just end up wiping it off when I put my foundation on or whatnot. Like it takes quite a little bit to dry. Um, so I probably wouldn't have used it in the morning anyway. I just want to have a look at the reviews. Uh, somebody says, fantastic. I have used it for 14 days and it's made my lashes fuller. Um, somebody else has said, I bought it for my eyebrows, I've only been using it a few days, but the brush is too small. Five stars, this stuff really works. Longer lashes, no dark circles, awesome brows. Um, I didn't love how this felt on my lash line, so she's only been using it on brows, that it works. I have to say, the reviews are looking pretty good on there. Let's have a look on a non, um, a non ordinary website. Okay, on Look Fantastic, um, says I adore this stuff it's made a huge difference to my lashes in just a couple of weeks do you know I don't know that it could make a difference in a couple of weeks I have fairly hairy eyebrows anyway but I have a bad habit of picking my mascara off of an evening I'm not sure how that's relevant but um, seems good somebody else is saying it been using it three weeks lashes do feel longer more nourished okay it says it dries quickly I didn't find that uh, definite improvement there's a definite improvement. My eyebrows aren't yet back to where I want them, but I'm going to persevere. Um, this really helps my lashes grow. That's saying after a week. I, honestly, I think that that's a placebo effect. I don't think you'd see it after a week. Been using this for two weeks and it works. Somebody else says that their lashes were falling out and now they're not. Um, two weeks I've noticed regrowth on my lashes where they had fallen out. That's just the normal cycle of things. That's not gonna be because of this serum, I'm afraid to say. I don't believe that's because of this serum. Um, okay, so we've established that I'm using it wrong, <laughs> um, but it's a peptide lash, you know, you're using it once a day, it's still gonna do something. So I have been using it on my eyes and on my brows. It is a really strange wand. I thought it was just gonna be a typical eyeliner type wand, but it's actually, it's, it's sort of like, it's got about four prongs on it, but they're plastic. So it's actually quite scratchy. So that person that said they didn't like the feel on their 
lash line I get it because I don't like the feel of it either you have to be really careful how you use it and it's a little bit too thick for your lash line because you end up like I would end up having to sort of try and wipe some off because you know you want it to go at the base of your lashes you'd almost be better if you had the patience to get the brush and sort of push it into your lash line like that rather than sort of going like that but for the brows, I thought it was perfect. And I've always said, I think that lash and brow products should be separate. And when I did my research years ago, do you remember I did a comparison of all the different products like Lilash and whatnot? Um, it did show that you needed something specific for the, the brows and the, the lashes if you wanted to regrow them, that was. So, um, but I have been using it on, on both, but I, I, I suddenly thought, you know what, I don't like the feeling of it on my lashes. Let me see how long I've been using this. And I've immediately stopped using it on my lashes and gone back to using the, oh goodness, what is it I'm using? I told you guys about it before. I can't remember the name of it, but I will, I'll make create. It's called make create. I'll, I will link it for you anyway. Long story short, I don't think this did anything for my lashes, but I did think that it, worked for my brows so let me show you the um before and after pictures that i took they're not they're not brilliant before and after pictures to be honest but they're enough to confirm kind of what i can see in the mirror okay let's start with brows i'll try and do as close as i can and you know make the photos look the same color because a lot of my photos come out just different colors depending on how dull or otherwise it is in this room um but you can see i think immediately that there are there are hairs that have grown on my i'm looking at my right eyebrow at the moment let's see if it's the same on the left yeah it's not quite as obvious on the left but on my right eyebrow there's definitely more hairs have grown and i have noticed that actually um since using this i have noticed it and i have actually plucked a couple out because when I have tried minoxidil on my brows. Now minoxidil is a, it's not on prescription. You can buy it in um, the chemist. It's something actually that you can use on your hair to help regrow hair. It is a medical product and it's something that's proven to help regrow hair. And I did a video saying you can use it to regrow your brows. And when I tried it, it did regrow my hair. But what happened was they were little um, gray hairs and they would grow like this like from my head outwards. Um, but I only had that happen with one here. I remember there was one here that grew pointing out and it was gray. And so I just plucked that one out. And there's been another couple appearing and I don't know whether it's just habit or what, I've just sort of plucked them out. Um, but you can see from that picture that there are definitely more hairs here. Um, so I and I could I could see that it was working on my brows you know I was like wow I'm actually getting a couple more hairs here that I didn't have before with my eyes open I think you can see that there's no difference in fact they look if anything they look kind of shorter um, but I always think the best teller is with pictures of your eyes closed so um let me get the pictures of my eyes closed and the right one maybe looks slightly longer actually but um yeah, I, th I think it's really hard to get pictures of lashes. I don't, m maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just rubbish at doing before and after pictures. I do feel like I'm rub rubbish at before and after pictures sometimes, but I feel like lashes are particularly hard, but I haven't seen any difference with my lashes. And I, the only time I've noticed a difference with my lashes is using that May Create um, lash serum or years ago when you could get, you know, lilac lash with the, the proper lash, lash growth ingredient in it um, so I haven't noticed anything and I didn't like the feel of the brush on my lashes so it's not something I will use for lash growth um, but I'm going to continue using it I've been using it at night on on just on my brows um, for the last two nights since since taking the photos and realizing that I've been using it for so long um, and there's still some left in it I have to say um, I'm not running out but I suppose if I'd used it twice a day that would make sense because that would be about four weeks wouldn't it um, so yeah, so I, that's about where I'm at. I don't think it works on my lashes. It hasn't done anything to my lashes. They don't feel any thicker. They don't feel any longer. Um, but my brows, it feels like there's a few more hairs there. Whether or not they were there, but, you know, it's just thickened them up or whether it's helped them grow, I don't know. Um, but I'm happy to keep on using it because it's such an easy step, you know, just to whap on some, some serum onto those bits um, at night for me. And I'll continue to just use it once at night because, like I said, I feel I felt like it, it wouldn't dry quickly enough putting it there for me to then go ahead and put my 
brow pencil on top you know um so let me know if you've used it and if you have what you've experienced from it i'm really skeptical of the reviews that are saying they've been using it for a week and they can tell a difference they've been using it for two weeks and can tell a difference because i just think the whole sort of cycle takes longer than that you know somebody there saying that within three weeks a bulb patch has regrown i i don't think that that's down to this serum so that's my thoughts let me know yours and i will leave a uh, details of all my makeup in the description and i'll speak to you again soon